Spring downtown airport information, Quebec 1753, weather observation, wind 080 at 5, visibility 10, sky conditions, ceiling 2200 overcast, temperature 162.08, altimeter 3016, runway 1 and use, expect the ILS approach. BFR departures requesting radar advisories, advise of your destination airport and your requested altitude en route. Advise on this contact with information, Quebec. Ground uh, Cessna 1900, Quebec, stand by to copy clearance to Walterboro, and I have Romeo. November 1900, Quebec, Greenville, downtown ground. You are clear to the Romeo Bravo Whiskey Airport via as filed. Initially, fly heading 030, climb to 3000. Expect 7000 within one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency will be Greer approach on 118.8, squawk 2550. Okay, so report takeoff. All right, Cessna 1900, Quebec, Flight cleared to the water for us. Yes, temperature 162.08, altimeter 3000. Expect 7000 to 10 minutes before the approach. Before departures requesting radar advisory, advise of your destination airport and your requested altitude in route. Your squad is 2550, the rest of the rate back is correct. Sorry about that, 2550. Green, but downtown airport information, Romeo 1853, weather observation. Wind 1006, visibility 10, sky conditions, ceiling 2200 overcast, temperature 160. I just want to see if the ceiling changed. Uh, Is that where the rudder trim should be? Quebec, uh, it should be. Okay. Uh, zero, zero, Quebec, make a right turn out of parking, exit the ramp on Alpha 5, then uh, make another right turn on Alpha to the end, cross runway 1028 en route. Altimeter is 3015, winds 070 at 4. Okay, right turn out. On uh, Alpha 5, we'll cross Throttle we'll 1800. Alpha. We're cleared across 10 2 8. Engine instruments. Uh, temperatures in the green. Ammeter is good. Oil pressure is in the green. Oil temperature is coming up. Uh, Ammeter suction. Is that suction? Yep. Uh, yeah. That looks good. Magnetos. Just like before. Alternate static. Uh, it's over there. There it goes. Right there. Yep, it's hard to find. There we go. Looks good. Prop. So here I grab this and I kind of pull it until the first indication, and then you look at the oil pressure, it should go down. Okay. Oh. Kind of pulling it out. It's kind of hard. There it goes. Down. And then I bring it back in. And then I look at the oil pressure, I mean the manifold pressure, it should go up, goes up, back in, and then I pull this back out again, and this should go down, and then go back in. And so that cycles the oil and warms it up. Okay. Throttle, idle check. And back to 1,000. Oh, it's weird. It has like a delay. Yeah, oh, it's got a little bit of a delay. So yeah, you got to be a little bit more on it whenever you're coming in. Uh, let's see. Idle check. 1,000 flight instruments. Good. And looks good. Runways. One. Com radios, nav radios, GPS, autopilot, throttle friction lock is good, flight plan, doors and windows.
latched. Flaps set 10. Hey, you can put it all the way to the thing. Oh, there is that 10? Okay. Yeah, yeah. That That's the thing that shows you where it is. Okay. But this is where you can it. Full stop with Romeo. Cessna 159 or Fox Trot Sierra Greenville Tower, enter a left base runway Prop, 1. Full forward. Time off. How do you do that in this plane? Uh, it's got again, a clock we had right our volume turned down. Sorry about that. Cessna 9 or Fox Trot Sierra, enter a left base runway 1. Base runway 1 Let's for 9 or Fox Trot Sierra, thank you. Is it that one? Uh, ET, elapsed time. ET. And then click control. 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 Okay. One to stop it, one to clear it, one to start it. Okay. Landing light. Oh. Both of them? Yeah, if you want to. You can really do just one. Okay. But. Transponder is proper code. Altitude. And mixture is full rich. Okay. All right, and let me hold it while you're doing that. That way I'll talk you through it. So, yeah. So, we're going to... Go ahead and I'll go ahead and let you know. So we're going to go full power. We're going to rotate at 65 miles per hour. Okay. And then climb at 75 to 85 miles per hour. And then we're going to tap the brakes, raise the gear, raise the flaps, and then climb out at 120. Okay. And can you kind of be on the controls? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ahead. I'm with you the whole time. <clears throat> oh. Yep. Greenville Tower, uh, Cardinal 8971 Mike, holding short of runway 1, ready to go. Cardinal 8971 Mike, Greenville Tower, say again your direction of flight. Westbound, right? Yeah. We're going to be going westbound for 71 Mike. Cardinal 71 Mike, runway 1, a left turn westbound approved, cleared for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff, runway 1, westbound approved, 71 Mike. And the approach path looks clear. Tower Rock, Cessna 1900, come back. Uh, we're ready in sequence. Cessna 1900, Quebec, Greenville Tower, hold short of runway 1, number 2 for departure. Quebec, we'll hold short. That approach path is clear as well. Yeah, it's kind of starting to break up. My dad said it was clear at home. Oh, really? Oh, awesome. Okay, so runway one is verified. Yep. yep. Right crosswind. Excellent. It's loud. Cessna 9 or Foxtrot, Sierra, runway one cleared to land. They'll be assessed by departing. I cleared land, runway one, 9 or Foxtrot, Sierra, the searching. All right, Cessna we're at 65, zero, zero, so back, roll back. Runway one, turn right on course, direct to your destination, cleared for takeoff. So we're just climbing on out at about 80 right here. Now you could say, all right, no runway remaining. Tap, gear up, and then allow the nose kind of drop a little bit, let the speed build up a little bit more, and then flaps up. Flaps up now? Yep, yep. Let the flaps come up. All right, the gear is up, the flaps are up. And so now you want to climb out, you can trim it uh, for about 100 to 120. Okay. And clear left, turning left. Yep. Do we need to, how do we descend in this? Oh. Taking the two X-ray taxi from the terminal to runway two three. So it is throttle. Okay. Uh, yeah, you kind of pull the power back. Um, I'll show you how we descend whenever we're in the pattern. Okay. Um, so I pull the power back to about, and then I, I pull this back up. So I go to a, uh, the traffic, I got the go to about eighteen hundred uh, uh, manifold pressure. One. Okay. And then I pull this back up to twenty five, and it kind of acts as a brake. Okay. All right, so about midfield downwind, which we're kind of on that. The wind's kind of blowing us that way. Uh, gear can go down. Oh, actually, let's pitch up to slow it down. And now we're under 140, which is our gear extension speed. So under 140, gear can go down. Okay. And then you guard it down, so I can let you do that. And I'll bring in a little bit more power. 
Now, since it's Should we turn that way? Point. Yeah. I think trim us back a little bit. I feel yeah. like I'm having to hold back a lot. Are you trying to descend? I was trying to descend. I was going to keep us about 2,000. Okay. All right. Now we're beating the numbers. So now you can pull the power back uh, until it says 1,800 RPMs. So we're now no longer worrying about this. So you can keep pulling it. Okay. Keep pulling it. 1,800. Now you push props full. And picking traffic, zero two X ray is holding it short. Two three, I see the uh, downwind. Is there? I hear is there a citation also for pickings? Yep. And then, so I feel like we're descending a little fast. Okay. Yep. And you can do the call. All right. Pickings. Uh, we got the left base in sight. We'll just uh, hold short. Two three pickings. Pickings traffic Cardinal seven one Mike turning left base runway two three pickings. All right. So now we're descending about ninety. And then once we're here, 20 degrees more flaps. All right, check that your gear is down. So you have a wheel. Down. We have a green I have light. A wheel. I have a wheel. Now you can go full. Uh, full flaps? Yeah, whenever you're ready. Then we can pitch up a little bit to kind of slow it down a little bit more. You can pull the power back a little bit. Pickens traffic, Cardinal 7-1 Mike on final runway 23 Pickens. And then you can get us back on center line. And then now we want to land at about 75 knots. Okay. And you can leave it at 80 if you want to, just feel a little safe. It feels heavy, don't it? The plane, uh -huh. like it sinks faster. Alright, so we keep the nose straight with our rudder. So use our feet, keep the nose pointed down the runway, and control our altitude with our power. And we keep the nose pointed down to keep our airspeed up. And can we do a full stop? Oh, yeah. And so 75 runway, 75 runway, 75 runway. Nothing to it. And pull the power back. I mean, the aileron's back. Power's all the way to idle. Flaps are up to help us break. Alrighty. You can go ahead and position if you right, want. Pickens, to. zero two X clear the active taxi to the terminal. Pickens. Pickens traffic, Cardinal eight nine or seven one. Mike is taking runway two three. We'll be remaining in the pattern. Pickens. Send, is Cindy always says, "Where are you taking it?" <laughs> uh, she'll get you on everything. And approach path is clear. And the props pull forward, extras full rich, landing light. All right, so full power. Airspeed alive. 65. No runway remaining, top the wheels, gear up. Yep. And then flaps up. And then 25 squared. So, so kind of pull that just back a little bit. extra wide base if you want to. Okay. Or extra wide entire pattern. So in this video my instructor and I are flying a complex for my first time working on my complex endorsement and it was a very interesting experience and I really enjoyed it and we just did some touch and goes and pick ins as you can see that was our first landing and takeoff. Wasn't my best landing but it we got on the ground we got back up 
so there will be plenty more videos in the cardinal so i hope you enjoy the rest of this so then do we just pull it in the pattern what do we pull it back to um uh 18 and then leave it at 25 so i just pull it back to power to 18 and a full pressure Pickens traffic, Cardinal 7-1 Mike is turning left down on runway 23, Pickens. And you can leave us a little high in the traffic pattern. Okay. Just to, you know, keep it nice and slow. Yeah. Alright, so then, midfield downwind is when you put the gear down. Okay. But you can do it early, uh, just till you get better and tighter at it. So it's 140 is under, the gear? Yep, under 140, gear down. Traffic truck for Alpha Tango. We're crossing midfield to join the left downwind for 170. Okay, so below 140, gear down. So being the numbers is where I pull the power back, uh, pull the power all the way down. Manifold pressure will drop till it can't drop anymore. You'll see the RPMs um, start to, you'll bring these back to 1800 RPMs. Yep, so it sounds like it's going to die on you. you can keep pulling it back and try to maintain your altitude by holding the nose up. Okay. And then you hit 10 degrees of flaps. Flaps 10. And then props forward. Prop full forward, mix to full rich. Yep. And you can bring the RPMs back up now to 18. There we go. Yes, good. Landing light on, undercarriage is down and locked. Yep, and feel free to trim if it makes it easier on you. Yeah. Just kind of hold it. And we want to hold it at 90 so you can pitch up some more. Which will keep us from descending quite so much. There we go. Oh, you're good. Clear to turn in. Pickens traffic, Cardinal 7-1 Mike turning left, base runway 23 Pickens. Alright, and so we're probably getting a wee bit low uh, since our pattern's so wide right now. Ooh, birds. Yeah, <laughs> since our patterns are so wide right now, uh, you'll probably leave a little bit of extra power in. And yeah. now you can go 20 degrees of flaps, that'll help balloon us up too. Yeah, I noticed we were super low. Oh yeah, but it's just because our pattern was so wide. And so now we should be about uh, uh, 80 ish, 85. So you're about right on it. Pickens traffic, Cardinal 7 1 Mike turning final runway 23 Pickens. Gears down. Gears down, yep, good. And whenever you want to go full flaps, you can. You can wait till we're a little bit closer. We got the run one white, one red. That so looks good. And I'll go ahead and give us flaps 30. And then 75 is what we want. And it just feels like you're right on the edge of it, like just dropping out of the sky. And then so again, we just fly this right towards the numbers until we get in ground effect. Then we fly it down the runway and then uh, just try to keep it from landing. Pickens, 02 X-ray, taxi from the terminal to runway 23 Pickens. You want to do a touch and go or what? Uh, full stop. All right. Very good. Yep, so the reason we compound is so you didn't pull the power out as soon as we hit the ground. Yeah, I noticed that right after I didn't do yeah. it. Yeah. Pickens traffic, Cardinal 7-1 Mike will be exiting, taxiing back, Pickens. So as you heard me say, I have been flying very, very low and fast in the Cardinal, which is something that I can work on next time a little bit more. But I'm going to go ahead and skip to our simulated emergency and go ahead and end the video there. So I hope you have enjoyed the entire video. And if you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time.
And I have Taking that guy traffic through to X-ray, left cross, down the runway, two down. three, full stop. Pickens. So, uh, you can tell them, you can say Pickens Traffic, Cardinal uh, Pick 871 Mike is going to depart the area two, three, to the north. Uh, where's the traffic in front of us for Pickens? Pickens Traffic, Cardinal 71 Mike, we're departing the area to the north, Pickens. I'll go and do that. Alright, so, yep, so our gear malfunction. Won't is go this down. like... This isn't for real. Okay. <laughs> you had, my heart was pounding for a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! You should have told me it That's was for why real. That's I was laughing, huh? You should have told me it was for real. I know. So we're departing the area to the north to get out of here, and you can climb on up a little bit. So whenever I climb, I go uh, this back to 25. Uh, no, this will go full then. Full? Yep. Yep, and then pitch up a little bit. That kind of helps it. And then push this in. Yeah. And then, so we needed to, the reason I made you do that is so we don't try to do the hand pump in the pattern. Okay. Because we're close to the ground and it's busy. There's airplanes there. It's dangerous. So we like to climb up to safety and kind of get out of the area. Four, four All right. So we out, just had 2,500. To one seven from the north. Um. All right, so this is safe enough area right now, 2,500. We would go higher if it was a better looking day. Um, yeah, keep that right there. All right, so now. Oh, oh. fuel flow is good. Oh, yeah. Um, so now, fuel, this is the emergency thing, so I'll let you pull that up a little bit. This thing? Yep. So you pull that up? Yep. And then you should be able to Pickens traffic, wiggle that train, thing out, pull it out. Base, All right. runway, two, three, full stop. So now you can Pickens. pump the gear down. Just by pulling yep. it back? And put this down uh, okay. while we're doing it too, just in case. Yep, so just pump it. And we need to stay below 140. Oh yeah. So you can just kind of pull the power back Second a little bit county. and trim us up. Flight 9116, Mike Juliet, three miles out on a straight in final. Two one seven, touch and go. Staying in the pattern. I see it coming out. <laughs> yep, yep, it's coming. It's hard. Oh, oh. What? Airspeed. Oh yeah. Well you kinda of set so you just trim it to kinda of hold it up a little bit. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Your heart <laughs> about gave out. Okay, it's about as much as I can do it. Oh, yep, and it's locked. So okay. now, now it's locked. So now we want to relieve the pressure. So you okay. can do whatever you got to do to push that thing back in. That. Oh, I can't figure out how to get it to go all the way in. <laughs> That's not all the way in, is it? No. Huh. Do you want me to try it? Um. Oh, there it goes. I got it. Okay. All right. So now we got to relieve the pressure. So if you feel up under the red ball, there's a little lever right there. And here, I'll kind of okay. take care of this. Can you take controls for a second? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So there's a little thing down there? Yep. You feel that little round thing? Try to, it is so hard. Pull that thing as hard as you can. It doesn't come up much. And I'll get on it too. Just to try again. Also, we're descending. Oh, yeah.
All right, so that should have relieved it. Hopefully, if not, then we got to do it again. So, all right, now, so now your landing gear works again. So you can pull the gear up, see if it'll come back up. Indicating in transition. Yep. Oh, I felt drag go away. Those wheel went up. And the gear is up and locked. Now you yep. can go back down with it again. Just, I like to recycle it to make sure it will go, in fact, go all the way down. Because <laughs> last time I did that with a student, it wouldn't go all the way down because the pressure was too high. And man, was I scared. I was like, no, we broke it for real.